lines aren't super perfect but you know we're gonna make sure it's given at the end and that's all that matters okay <laughs> Hey love bugs, welcome back to the channel. So excited about doing these tape-ins because my first ever tape-in video was with this company, Y Wigs. And they come in this bag right here. So this is basically how you're going to receive your bundle of tape-ins from them. You have a lot of tape-ins to work with, so I do love that. Hopefully you guys can see if you decide to get a natural wave. I'm also gonna start off with sectioning my hair out. And I like to take a good amount out. This is also gonna be left out because I wanna make sure I have enough space to part. Now, do I find this to be a super protective style? No, not at all. I feel like that's the first question that somebody's gonna ask if you do have tape-ins in your head. If you're into extensions, this is going to be something that you're gonna be into. Stylists do recommend you not really play around with tape-ins if you have finer hair. But there's stylists that will say, as long as you know how to do tape-ins, you know, the people with finer hair are going to be good. If you like how your hair feels after, maybe continue to get it. If you don't, don't get it. If you've seen their work, if you're confident in their work, go to them. I'm gonna do these hoes at home because the girls be trying to charge an arm and a leg for some tape-ins, and I'd rather do it myself in my crib, knowing that I'm keeping money in my pocket, as well as making it look good because I kinda know what look I'm going for if I am going to be rocking tape-ins. So if you were to ask me, would I continue getting tape-ins? I would. All right, so this is basically what I'm working with. And then I'm gonna start my first section down here. And then this is what it looks like on this side. Lines aren't super perfect, but you know, we're gonna make sure it's given at the end. And that's all that matters, okay? I'm gonna section off this part up here. I'm gonna work with smaller sections because it's a one man show. And once I start, that's when like the groove starts coming in and it just feels like really natural for me to get the hang of what I'm doing. It's the piece of tape. If you're new to tape-ins, don't know what they are, and this is your first time seeing them, this is what they look like. It has a piece of tape on it and you're just gonna go ahead and peel it off. I like to peel off a couple of them and place them maybe on the side of my mirror or wherever my workstation is. You're using two tape-ins at a time and you're sandwiching your hair in between each tape in and you want to work with a thin section my biggest tip is to make sure that your hair is pressed out and it's not you know getting puffy or anything like that on you because if so it's not going to be a good day for you i have had my air on as well as opening one of my windows so my hair is straight but the first time i ever done this my hair poofed up so quick because it was so hot in my home and it just wasn't cute so i advise you to keep your hair super super straight i feel like that's why a lot of the hairstylists get that little black piece and place it at the root of your hair so your hair can stay bone straight but i don't have those today so we just gonna do it how we do it you want to keep it like maybe an inch away from the root of your hair so you are able to you know flip your hair up and it's comfortable if you put it too close to your scalp it's going to be like a crime for your hair as you can see I let this piece out because I'm not even going to play by my ear because it's not going to look as realistic as I need it to if it's by my ear if I need to put that there I'll rather put it kind of like up here and having my taping go horizontal. I do like to slant my tape-ins if necessary, especially in the areas where I know I'm going to want to put my hair up in a ponytail in. So I'm not putting this straight across. It may look like it, but it's a slight slant to this tape-in. Hopefully that makes sense. And then I do like to um, straighten my tape-in as I go, but for right now I'm just going to move on to the next section. I usually like to put three tape-ins in a row. Depending on how long my section is, I will try to put four. But because we're only working with this much space, like the crown of my head, 
I really don't have to put like five to six tape ins in just one row. My head is going to prepare a couple of tape ins for myself so I don't have to stop in each one but I will be putting them on my mirror. So if you see me reaching, that's where I'm reaching. I played around with these tape-ins while, while I was in Tampa and also when I returned back home to the A. And they held up so good. They look so natural, especially when I straighten my hair. I even washed these tape-ins, you guys, um, and I had dyed my hair jet black with these tape-ins in, these exact tape-ins no cash they're super strong they're super sturdy and i didn't have any slip until maybe like this i want to say the third or fourth time i washed my hair and i was using all kind of co-wash shampoos i was using sulfate free shampoos so really high quality shampoos that finally the tape kind of like budged on the tape in and um it loosened up on me I do like to have the tape ends kind of like fall out by themselves versus me having to like try to pull them out. But this is a really low maintenance hairstyle. If you can try it at home, do so. I'm just going to take all of this. Looking, resting my hair down. It's filling for the end of that piece. And then I'm going to place that right on top. I like to keep like a little gap in between each tape-in also because I don't want them to be touching each other and then causing like your tape-in to bunch up on you. But when it's time for the next row, don't space it out too far because you might have a lot of tape-ins to work with and you don't want your hair to look thin. You want it to look full. I like to feel like the end of my tape in and then that's kind of where I gauge like if I need to move the tape in over or if I'm placing it right on top of the other. So that is this piece. Them together. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm just gonna take all of this. Looking, resting my hair down. Filling for the end of that piece. And then I'm gonna place that right on top. This is how much I have left of the first set of bundles. I lift them up. This is what it's looking like. She had a pain mind. I don't want her. Cause she found a corner. And I heard that beam was a loner. My old man the owner. And I don't even drink coronas. What type of drink you want, bro? No champagne for them. No dirt spray for them. You come silver me. If you like to change the weather. 
All right, girly, so we're almost at the top of the hair, so I wanted to pop back in and show you guys this beautiful texture with you all before I started manipulating the hair. I ended up using two and a half of their Natural Wave 22 inch, but I did cut into it, and I will be straightening it with my Baby Bliss flat iron. I decided to straighten it because my hair was already straightened, and I wanted to go for a more natural look, so I ended up cutting into the hair. This was 22 inches once again, but I made it maybe into a like six 16, 18 and the hair quality is amazing you guys one thing i love about Y wigs their tape-ins come super dark so if your hair is already a natural black you will love these tape-ins because you do not have to dye them i ended up having to dye my natural hair because my tape-ins were way darker than my hair and i was okay with that because it was about that time for me to dye my hair anyway so i'm just going to show you guys the process of me styling the hair i did multiple styles with you guys showing you how versatile Y wigs tape-ins are and as you can see they're super super sturdy i didn't even really go in and press the hair it's one of those like pressers that usually stylists use so you can ensure that your tape-ins are well pressed together with your hair in between their tape-ins are super strong and a good thing about Y wigs they do give you some extra tape-in stickers just in case like you have a problem with any of your tape-ins so you are able to replace the tape-ins if you do want to rest reinstall your tape-ins so i really do like that about this company but overall you guys i do want to let you guys know that the quality of this hair was amazing it is amazing i'm still rocking them as we speak i'm in tampa and my hair has been holding up since it is a little bit colder out here but i just wanted to tell you guys you know how i felt about the hair and you're gonna see me style the hair one more time in um a updo as well as some curls i used my t3 curling iron to throw some curls into the hair but i was in love with wild wigs tape-ins once again i love this company's tape-ins i really do have to say that because i have been trying a couple of different textures from this company and i really have been loving their hair quality so i will link all of their information in the description box below if you guys are interested and i will check you guys in my next one i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye y'all don't forget to thumbs up comment subscribe and turn on your post notification bell see you soon she drive a Nissan, and she in a P-Mine I don't wanna, cause she from the corner And I heard that Beamer was an owner My old man the owner And I don't even drink Coronas What type of drink you want, bro? I'm champagne for them I'm Dutch right for them You come sip with me If you like change the weather If you want a little better We can buy a grill whatever Don't get too thirsty I wanna tell the world about you just so they can get jealous And if you see a fool I do, tell I wish that I'd be Turn on the light, I'm looking forward to I heard she keep her promises, ain't never turn on you I heard she ain't gon' cheat and she gon' never make no move I heard she beat out every time you meet her, she call me Turn on the light, I'm looking forward I'm looking forward